Hi, we're uh, Team Coffee Q, and I'm Eddie. I'm Watson. I'm Zoe. I'm Charles. Uh, we built this device so that um, those that are blind or hard of seeing can recognize their friends and family in a crowd and recognize what emotions the people around them are showing. All right, hi everyone. So um, uh, here we have Zoe. Um, who is wearing our entire system, as you can see, which consists of three main parts. Uh, we have the headset, uh, which has a camera, and she's currently blindfolded, so she, so she can't see anything in front of her. And there is the, um, the, the Raspberry Pi, as well as the STM32, and a, and, a, and a battery pack at the back. So the system is completely mobile. Um, and um, according to our estimations, the, the battery pack will last the system, uh, which, is which is continuously running for about two-ish hours. And um, the third part, and the most important part, is our uh, haptic sleeve. So it's made from a um, compression sleeve, and um, it has seven vibration motors uh, hidden under it. So you, you can see like the little dots here, here. Yeah, it's actually right it's under, right here. So here it is. So they're all sewn underneath, so it's very discreet. And um, so now we're gonna do uh, a facial recognition demo, uh, during which we will have two subjects um, doing some, fa um, some faces. And Zoe is going to um, experience uh, some, uh, some form of uh, haptic feedback in patterns that correspond to the model's outputs. So let's get started. So um, we have to have Zoe face someone, um, maybe towards Watson first, and okay, we're gonna have my face. yes. So we're gonna see Watson do a face, and we can have Zoe guess what Watson's doing now. So I'm getting primary sad, secondary fears. I'd assume you're sad and a little bit anxious. Yeah, that looks about right. That I think. About right. Yeah, Watson's pretty sad. And we're going to have Zoe face Charles, and we have Charles do some face. Um, we don't know what he's going to do, but all right, so that's Charles. Go ahead. Okay, I'm getting primary happy, secondary neutral. Okay. A little bit surprised, but so I would assume just happy. Cool. Very cool. And so that concludes our um, emotion recognition demo. All right, hi everyone. So um, I'm back, I'm Eddie. And here we're gonna demonstrate the second feature of this headset, and that is the facial recognition feature, which allows the blind user to recognize um, the uh, whoever is in front of them. So now we're gonna have um, Zoe um, switch over to the uh, facial recognition mode, which I think she's already done. Have you done it? Yes, there we go. Cool, all right. So now we're in the right mode. And um, we have the same two test subjects. We have Watson. And we have Charles. And so now I'm gonna have to ask Zoe to just um, spin around a little bit and just to, yeah, just to make sure that she is properly disoriented. Okay, all right. And now I'm gonna um, ask her to move towards a, um, a certain direction and face someone. So let's face this unknown person. And Zoe, who do you think this is? Charles. Cool. And um, oh, that's Watson. Cool. Very good. Four taps. So yeah. That's Watson. Sounds good. Right. So here we're back, and um, so after the demo, we'd like to do a little bit of um, explaining. And um, here, I think it would be appropriate to ask Zoe to explain what um, what she felt um, during the demos. Sure, so in the uh, sentiment analysis part, where I recognize the emotions, what happened was there are seven motors here, and this is neutral, uh, sad, fear, anger, and surprise, happy, disgust. And for the primary emotion that I picked up on, it was one long tap, and the two secondary emotions, they were short taps. And then once I swapped over to facial recognition, when I looked at Charles, I got uh, eight short taps. And when I looked at Watson, I got four short taps. So it was much easier to differentiate between people. Cool. Hi, this is teammate again. Um, 
here we're talking about our web service. So if you want to come into my screen here, uh, here is our landing page. Uh, there's a button to sign up. I already have a test account, so let's just log into that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're in. Here you can register a device or categorize photos. The categorizing photos is the interesting part. So here our device uploads photos automatically. They are populated here and you can categorize. Well, Charles looks pretty pretty angry here. So like that. Here's the next one, kinda I know surprised. Happy, etc. And you can, you know, log out. Reset your password. I'll just log out here. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs>